the more you start to attach to these like toxic situations in your life or seemingly toxic and the more you start to feel like the world is out to get you the world is against you you're gonna start manifesting that you're gonna start seeing more and more of that i started to like get upset over things i upset over people upset about the things around me and the more i start to attach to that attach to that attach to that once you're in that state yeah like things will seem more toxic to you. People will be more toxic to you because you're already in that state. And even if you don't believe in spirituality, like the power of manifestation or law of attraction, just think about it. Just as a practical human being, if you're in a very angry state and you're resentful and you're angry and you're upset or you're hurt and you're sad, that is the energy. That is what you're putting out to people. And that is how people will react to you too. Because... uh, no one wants to be around a freaking angry bitch or a sad bitch. So you gotta like, you gotta, it starts from within. Once you start to practice this inner work, peace and meditation, finding small things to be grateful for. And also, also a big thing is letting go of like the unknown, letting go of fear of the unknown. I think that's a huge thing. When we chase liberation, when we chase freedom, Do you guys know that freedom also means things are not going to be known, okay? At least when you're in a controlled state or when you're in a state of like feeling like, for example, if you're at a job that you don't like, you hate it, but there's consistency there. You're getting paid. You know what's coming every day. You can depend on it. And then you're always wishing for freedom. But once you actually leave that job and you're like, I'm going to do go, go after what I want. There's going to be a lot of times where there's a lot of unknown. Be at peace with not knowing how things are going to turn out. And it really is your feelings. The more you can feel, okay, take more deep breaths. Everyone, let's take a deep breath together. The more you can just feel chill, chill, chill. If you believe in energy, the more you're at this state of chillness and just like, it's fine, it's fine. Naturally, things are gonna slowly improve. Naturally, better things are gonna come to you. The most woke I was, was when I was in Toronto during COVID. We were all in lockdown, but I was actually so peaceful then because I was by myself and I was meditating every day. And I was just like, I was so at peace with everything, even though the world was in chaos that I found the smallest thing in my everyday to be grateful for. Like I literally would think about how my five senses freaking is a miracle. For us to be able to like see, think, okay, that's not one of the senses, but it should be. <laughs> like feel, touch, smell, and hear. Yo, I was just like crying just thinking about my five senses. I was in such a place of like gratitude. And when you're in that place, It doesn't really matter what's happening in the world because you're just like fascinated and in love with life. Just being able to live is a miracle, you know?